Creating rollovers in Dreamweaver is actually very simple. Um, basically what a rollover is, is an image that changes when you roll your mouse over, and hence the name rollover. Um, in this case, we're going to create these rollovers here on this navigation bar, which is right here, okay? And really the best reason to create a rollover is so when someone moves their mouse over your image, which is presumably a link, um, they will know that something's going on, okay? Something changed. They, they're interacting with your website. They know they can do something, get further information, etc., etc. Uh, besides, in most cases, rollovers are visually attractive. They add some more oomph to your site. Um, so we're going to create some rollovers here. We're going to create this entire navigation bar uh, with these rollovers. Basically, the way a rollover works is you have your image, and in this case, our image, let's take the portfolio button here. We have that, that's a separate image, okay? We have that image, um, and we have a second image as well, and it looks exactly like this image, except it has an orange tint applied to it. So the way a rollover works is you have this base image, which is this portfolio image, and you have another image, and when someone rolls over, you take this base image and you swap it with the rollover image, okay? So when you're creating images for rollovers, create two versions of the image. Create the image the, as it appears in its down state, is what it's called. Or excuse me, not down state, down state's when you're actually clicking on it. And it's up state, when you know nothing, it's just it's being left alone, it's just there. Um, and it's over state, which is when someone rolls over it. Okay? So we have, I have already created them, so if you want to create your own buttons, Go ahead and create them. Um, I'm just going to talk about how you actually make the rollovers in Dreamweaver here. So let me close this file, and I'm going to open up this HTML file here, and you can see the navigation bar is missing. So I'm going to select the first cell, and the first thing you want to do is come up here into your toolbar and click that button and go to Common. We want the Common Tools. Now, if your bar doesn't look like this, you may have it set up as tabs. Just click the Common tab. I prefer using mine as a menu, so I'm going to use it that way. I've got my common tabs here, and select your little images thing. Select the drop down menu, and go to rollover image. Now, when we select this, we get this dialog. We can name the rollover, then we need to put the original image, then the swapped image, the image that gets swapped in to replace the original image, and a few other options which we're going to talk about as well. So, first thing, we want to name this rollover. Don't use capitals, don't use spaces. So I'm going to name this home underscore BTN for home button. And we're going to go to original image here. When I click that, I have to navigate to where I have my images. And my images are inside of this images folder here. And basically what I need to do is, because this is a sliced Photoshop file, this whole entire header, it has conveniently named all of my files, but you can see where I've created rollovers in Image Ready, because I actually made these rollovers in Image Ready, um, it has made the JPEG files for me. And you can see I've got photo logo 05.jpg, which is just my home button. Then if I go to over, it's the home button faded, but it's the same exact thing. So you don't see any kind of pixel change except the color change. Okay, so that's the only change that's going on. So I'm gonna hit Oops, I don't want the over image, I want the actual base image. Now for the rollover image, now I'm going to select that over image. Okay? And you want to check off preload rollover image. Basically what that does is it loads the rollover image as well as the original image when it originally loads your site. Just adds a little bit of JavaScript in there, um, which preloads that image. So when someone rolls over the image, they don't wait. Because sometimes when you roll over, you wait like a split second before the rollover image comes up. So to prevent that from happening, you spend a tiny bit more time actually loading the page initially. Um, but it really, it's barely noticeable, if noticeable at all. And then you want to add alternate text for your image, as in any image. Adding alternate text, the alternate text shows up when the person has blocked images, um, or just can't download images for some reason. Um, or if you roll over an image on the web and you wait a while, um, you see some alternate text come up next to your cursor. So I'm going to say, go home. Use some, something that tells the user what's going to happen when they click on it, or either what is in the image if the image isn't a link. This is a button, so I'm going to tell what happens when you press on it. And then, when clicked, go to URL. This basically is your link. 
okay, if it's a button, which in this case it is, which in most cases it's a button, um, you can leave this blank though, but when it's clicked, what URL do we want this to go to, and in this case we want this to go to index.html because that is our home page, and now here we're going to say OK, and you're going to see the button pop right into place there. I'm going to deselect it, I'm going to move over, and now I'm going to show you how quickly you can set up rollovers. Once you've selected rollover image once, real quick, a quick trick is when you select anything up here, let's say I select uh, just regular image, all right, I'm going to cancel out though. You can see this little button, well, I'm sure you can't see with the size you're watching this, but that little button has changed to match the icon you select in here. So whatever thing you select in here, that automatically becomes this button, okay? And what I mean by that is, let's say, I, remember we select rollover image like this, fill out our rollover image. Well, now instead of going back to the drop down menu, we can just click it, and it's going to come up last used uh, image command, I guess, is what you could call it. Okay, right, so the second image, or the second rollover over is portfolio. So I'm going to quickly make these rollovers now that we know how to do the first ones. Come over. Make sure you have preload selected, alternate text. By the way, the alternate text can have capitals. And then URL, go to portfolio.html. Or you can browse for your uh, URL, by the way. Okay. Let's do this one. And this one is, I believe, the contact. Whoops. Contact button. You will see in just a minute. Yes, contact. All right, and you can just keep setting up these buttons, and you see how quickly it goes. And before you know it, you're done. Um, and we can test this out in a web browser. It's going to ask us if we would like to save the changes. We'll just hit yes. And up pops your default web browser. By the way, the hotkey for that in Dreamweaver is F12 to launch your default browser, to preview in your default browser. And when I roll over any of these images, you can see that they all work and if I click on any of them it's going to bring me to that page nothing's different about any of these pages so they all look the same but if you look up here in your URL box you're going to see it is going to the correct page and that's it you set up these are basic rollovers um, I would get into adding a down state but adding a down state's a little bit more complicated and I'm going to save that for a separate tutorial so that's it for this one that is how to create Simple rollovers in Dreamweaver, it's very easy, and it's a very effective way to build a navigation bar uh, for your site, and it's great. So, hope you enjoyed this one, hope you learned something, and uh, please go check out my site, that's www.tutvid.com, spelled T-U-T-V-I-D dot com. That's it for this one, thanks for watching.